Dangerous conditions, dangerous conditions ahead, including but not limited to indigenous snakes surfaces. and possible parallel. Oh, oh lovely! Okay. Thanks, a <laughs> Stay on mark paths. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, just come through Petros, Tennessee. And we're on our way up to Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. James Earl Ray was incarcerated here uh, after the shooting of Martin Luther King. Dangerous. Since 1896. Yeah, so Sean's saying this the old prison. Stopped operating as a prison when they opened a new facility, which is over the mountain, over in that direction. I think it's just over the top of that mountain. There's a brand new facility. This is a derelict for a number of years. I think it's derelict for a few years, and then it's open now uh, as a well tourist attraction. Kind of like Alcatraz. The gift shop, plenty of t-shirts. Brushy was the damnation of many evil men and the salvation of a humble few. $30. End of the line, Tennessee moonshine. Chow Hall. <laughs> They're obviously a roadie bunch. Well, I've had coffee anyway. There's our, there's our chow at the brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Yeah, uh, right. See about, see in about 50 years. <laughs> I think James already actually escaped from it, didn't he? Um, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure already he escaped. Because they said they got the prison wall out the front and they didn't have one around the sides and back because it was just the mountains and if they was... Yeah, yeah. Well, it says if you escaped, you left yourself to the mercy of snakes and bears and... So, uh, which way they went, I don't know, but it was a group of them. They were all caught, they were all captured. Yeah, so these were the offices along here. Trap gates. The loud clang of the first gate closing could be heard in nearby Petros. More often than not, it signified the last breath of freedom that a new brushy inmate was ever going to take. The whipping post. 
Ja, det är så fint. Åh, vad gott. Ja, snäst. Ja, det What time? What year did it close? Two thousand nine. Thank you. That's fairly recent. Two thousand and nine. Well, I don't, I don't mind the last. Nineteen sixty-five. Oh, did I? Yeah, when the warden said it was too inhumane and he made it stop. Yeah. No more. He said on the set. So there's a baseball court. A baseball. Basketball, yeah, there is a wall at the back, look. It's not very high, though, is it? No, it's not very high, no. It's, I could probably, I could probably get up over there. Well, ten years ago, anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm, bonus of uh, living in Petros, uh, free laundry. <laughs> James already worked in the laundry. They, they are the washing machines over there. Yeah. Museum. It's in the doorway, I guess, not up the stairs. They were tied by the, just by their thumbs on a pulley system from the ceiling, with their toes barely touching the floor. That was in the old days. So it went on until 1905. Oh, for up to 30 minutes that went on for. Until 1905. It's a fascinating place, it's a bit dark and Pardon? it's a bit dark, but uh, it it's a fascinating dark. place. Uh, this was the prison gymnasium that they, apart from gymnasium, was used to fill with beds when it was overcrowded. I suppose that was quite often. That's the wall that she was on about then, the, to the right. They put the ladder up. No, with the snakes oh, and how they suppose. Them. Oh, right, okay. There's our wall, so they did have a wall at the back there. Yeah, so this was the yard where they say, said in the film when James Earl Ray escaped, they're all in the yard, somebody started a fake fight. Fight, fight, fight. fight, 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 fight. Um, and different inmates brought different pieces of the, the ladder. Of the ladder. Yeah. And a few of them got over the wall and escaped up into the forest, the woods. James O'Leary thinks he was the last one to be captured. He was out there for about 56 hours, did they say? 54. 54 hours. Uh, though it conveyed a sense of freedom, prisoners like James Earl Ray, who famously jumped the wall at the 
the right rear corner so that would be the lowest point perhaps yeah despite the nice view and a few good games the yard would always be at the bottom of a hell they could never escape well apart from james already and a couple of others i suppose uh, it's James here. Okay. James, I'm going to ask you. Oh, this one here. And you ain't going to believe this. I've done this on purpose. See this dude? When you was over there earlier, you yeah. know where you seen the knives? Yes. That dude stabbed James Array over 22 times. Really? 1981. So I've got him. It's part of the paranormal stuff. Yeah. Right now, man. Uh, <laughs> is he still alive? Doc Walker. He ain't got out last year. 72 year old. Yeah, he wrote a book too. Do uh, you know what the title was? I stabbed James Rowe, right? Well, you know, it's good enough to make it up. See it like it is, isn't it? This is a proper stack of unrack, isn't it? Hello. So that was Brushy Mountain State, State Penitentiary. Yes, yeah, State Penitentiary. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. The film they what? showed harsh treatment. It's worth a visit, though. It's, oh, well, it's well off the beaten track. You need to uh, just find it. Yes. Uh, and I think the village or the town down the road is. Petro, Petros. Petros. No, yeah. I, I said Petros, but on the film he said Petros. Petros. Well, perhaps it's Petros. got an accent. Okay, set off. <laughs>